Hey guys, uh, welcome. Today we're here on Carlos's boat, this beautiful, beautiful Privilege 615. And we got Carlos. I'm here. He's the owner of the boat. We're doing this. What's up, guys? And we are going to take you through the whole boat today. So before we get started, Carlos, do you want to tell us a little bit about the boat, a bit of the history, why'd you yeah. buy it, what, what have you done? So uh, she's a, a 2007 615. Um, uh, hopefully, like many of you out there, you are obsessed with watching sailing YouTube channels because, because I definitely am. And uh, right after COVID, I I basically binge watched binge watched uh, every single one of Sailing Tatar's videos, okay. multiple times. Um, Keith, I'm a big fan. Hey, uh, and basically, uh, I, I was obsessed with the Privilege boat, and we were in the in the uh, the time in our life where we needed to get out and explore. We were living in Hawaii, and I said, let's go buy a boat. So we uh, figured it out, made it happen. I uh, looked everywhere for a 615, or a privileged boat. I found a 615 that had a five cabin layout, just like Keith's. So I was kind of like, I, I, I was kind of really just obsessed and just like determined to find a boat just like Keith's. And we did, and we came in, I, I, uh, I flew to Florida and she needed a lot of work. Um, and uh, the uh, seller really wanted to get out quick. So we made a good deal, got the boat, uh, first boat, I have three kids. We moved on to the boat. We had no idea what to expect. Um, I wish I had taken your course, by the way, <laughs> uh, before this, uh, because uh, I, I've, I've learned a lot. Yeah. Uh, and we spent the last two and a half years fixing her up. We did a massive, massive refit um, from the standing rigging, the running rigging. We took the mast off the boom. We repainted that. We redid all the interiors, new air conditionings, uh, new water maker, new engine as of two weeks ago. Uh, the other engine has 700 hours. So everything is basically brand spanking new. Uh, and we had a little bit of a life change. My my wife is about to, get, to give birth to baby number four. And uh, she was like, I think it's time for us to get off the boat. And uh, you know, that is life. So we have a boat that we never actually got to use. Yeah. We were getting ready to use and we were so close, um, but life had us, you know, pivot. So, so here we are. So the boat is like basically ready to go. Oh, she's ready. I mean, yeah. if, if somebody wanted to move on literally right now as we're talking and, and go, like she's ready to go. Amazing, amazing. Awesome guys, well we're gonna walk through the boat. I'm super excited, like Carlos said, I've been through here today. There's so many new systems that we're gonna show you. You could get on this. The livability of this boat is insanely good uh, for a living board, long-term cruiser, somebody who's looking to go take the boat to the Bahamas. The livability of this boat is insane. So uh, we'll get through it. We'll start walking through the boat and point out some of the key features of it for you. Uh, super excited to get into it. Yeah, let's well, do it. Where do you want to start? We start right here in the salon. All right. This is a salon. Um, okay, so if you've seen Sailing Zatara, you are probably noticing that we don't have a bar or a table like theirs. Uh, we have three little kids at the moment, so we got rid of those, and it's been perfect for them to run around. My kids play Legos in here, uh, super fun. Um, I did have a dream of building a new table. It was a little bit smaller, yeah. but one that could drop down and make like a little extra bed in here. Yeah, uh, so you could put that in. Oh, yeah. easily, easily. Yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's really, it's just, it's so open in here, which I love. Yeah. Um, we, we redid all the windows in the front because they were pretty old. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's, there's you know great views, and we put these awesome blackout shades. So ah. these go all the way down. I mean, and you can literally it gets dark in here, and on those hot, hot, hot days, this helps so much. The other thing I think I want to point out in here is the headroom. You can see me. I mean, I'm not a super tall guy. You're what, about, six seven, right? Yeah, yeah, six seven exactly. <laughs> and I got this much room. No, I'm about five eight. Uh, but you can see, you know, there's a lot of headroom here over me. We had Jeremy in here the other six day. 6'11", huh? right? Uh, is he 6'11"? He's no. tall. He's, he, he could stand right here. Yeah. Um, and in the in the holes, he just had to bend down a little bit. So that's pretty good. Yeah, so a lot of headroom. If you're a tall guy, perfect, good for you. And Lots if you're short, it no feels like a castle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Okay, uh, let's look. I mean, standard panels on the boat, um, two generators. Uh, we'll go show these later in the compartments, but control panel for that. There used to be a thing here too, right? Yeah, yeah, this was up. like a like a big old like nav table. So we just gutted that, made more room. My kids actually had a little mini table here. Okay. And here's where they did all their eating and hanging out. Um, we uh, have uh, uh, 2,250 watts of solar with a Victron system, brand new inverter that we put in there. 
Um, and um, actually, the the water maker, which is a beefy water maker, like I mean, we we kind of oversized everything. Uh, it can do about seventeen hundred gallons per day of water, which you will never need unless you have a wife who showers a lot. Like, like every like, hour. Every hour, right? Yeah, every hour. Uh, but you control everything from right up here. You know, uh, back in the day, watching Keith's videos, the kids would have to go down and do the knobs and everything. Yeah. This one, you just literally hit a button and it starts up and it fills the tanks. Um, Fusion audio system, we did about 12 uh, speakers outside. All right, and then over here, we've got an awesome ice maker. I know Keith, Keith would really love this, but um, it makes a lot of ice Keith, all day long. Keith would love that. Got the ice maker. Uh, this is our TV where we play a lot of Mario Kart. That was our big thing over here. Uh, and then over here, this crazy gadget thing, and that is kind of like the hub of the boat. So the Wi-Fi, the Starlink, all the cameras on the boat, everything comes back right there. Okay. So I kind of just, I wired everything to this point. Makes it a lot easier. If, if something's broken, you can check it, boom, boom. Um, and then last but not least, we added an extra freezer under the, uh, under the uh, couch area because my wife wanted to be able to freeze a lot of meat when we were gonna do our uh, our big passages, yeah. which we never did. But I hope one of you gets to enjoy this boat. All right, guys, come on down. Let's check out the uh, galley and some of the bedrooms. Come on. All right, here we go. All right, well, welcome to uh, our galley. Um, again, very much like Sailing Zatara, um, but we here on Alexa, we uh, spent a lot of time here in the galley. Honestly, my, my family of five, this is, this is like the space. It seems really small, but you know, it, it keeps the family close together. Everybody likes to hang out in the kitchen. And it's crazy, and it's so small. Uh, but we have some really cool features in here. Uh, we, we did all new refrigeration. Um, so these can all be fridges and freezers. You can choose. Um, and this top one we use as a, as a drink fridge. Um, and one of, uh, one of my favorite updates was this sink. Uh, most of them, most of these boats have those little circles. Well, we cut that thing out, put a huge sink in here, even a cup cleaner. Have you seen one of these? Look at this. Done. It's next level. Right? Yeah. Uh, next level. Yeah. It's got a nice shot of the inside of the sink. This is a beautiful sink that you put in here. Watch this, watch this. How's that? Yeah. All right. That's some good effects right there. <laughs> And, and guys, these fridges are not just any fridges. These are like the top of the line fridges that you can put in. in yeah, the boats, I, right? mean, I mean, Vertifrigo, they're, they're amazing. You can set them either for like one fridge, one freezer, both fridges, or, or both freezers. And you got one, two, three, three four, four, five. Yeah. That's the one in the, yeah. in the salon. So technically, if you wanted to make, this one can only be a fridge, but if you wanted to, you could do one, two, three, four, five freezers yeah. and one fridge yeah. or any other combination. Um, another really cool thing that we did is that we have, a ca we have cameras everywhere because I, I have small kids. So um, we put um, screens in like, you know, different areas so you can always be monitoring the boat. Uh, the engine rooms, the you know different things, and they're constantly switching, and you just it's just really nice to be able to have your eyes on everything at all times. I like the nook. Oh, this right here. Yeah. So this was a microwave, but my family does not believe in microwaves, so we got rid of it, and uh, it's where we have you know little things like our uh, hot water maker. Yeah. That's basically it. Beautiful backsplash. I like it. Yeah, and this is all uh, you know peel and stick. So if somebody doesn't like it, you can take it right off and put whatever you want on there. But we liked, uh, liked it because it was light and it didn't feel uh, too heavy. Perfect. All Let's right. keep going. So, my wife and I, how we, how we used the boat was, this entire hole was kind of like our, our one bedroom apartment, right? So we had my office in here, our master bedroom in the back, and then we each had a bathroom. And it, and, and it really worked for us. Yeah. So in here, we actually gutted the, uh, is it settee? Seti. Set, seti. 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 Yeah. I can never get that right. Yeah. We gutted that one and, and had somebody put in a desk here. And this was really awesome because I, I have my monitor here. Um, I, I, I made a pass through so all the wires were hidden. And this is where we did all of our, you know, vlogging. You and, added this thing afterwards. Yep. Yeah. 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 This is beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Just, just, you know, make it uh, fun. And this was just, yes. this was a gun safe. Aha. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. It was a gun in there. Not anymore. Uh, okay. Lastly, no we have uh, what I used as my bathroom, uh, and everybody used this shower because it's the tallest one and just the widest one. It feels really good. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that Keith uses this shower in his boat too, right? There we go. See, I'm on the right side. 
<laughs> right mindset. Um, but yeah, this cabin is super fun. All the beds are super cozy. All right, guys, we're gonna go aft into the master. Let's go, come on. Uh, you got a washroom, washroom here off on the side. Some nice wallpaper in here as well. I like this a lot. Uh, and then we've got the shower, another shower in here. So as Carlos said, the aft stateroom here, this is the master stateroom, hangout here, office in the front, uh, washroom for him in the front, washroom for her over here. You can have separate washrooms, keep your stuff separate. Let's go check out the bedroom. Oh, what's up, dude? Wow, look at this. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just watching a movie. That's amazing. I'm just hanging out. Yeah, you know what? I always use this to put my iPad on here. Yeah. So I can check out what's going on, watch a movie at night. Perfect. I think I, I also stole this idea from, from Keith. From Keith. He has yeah. the same setup in his, yep, in his yeah. master, exactly the same oh. setup. Lots of space in the master. Another little uh, settee to do some work here. Another one of the screens. Always keep an eye on the kids. So we, so, so, so we have this in here and uh, it, it's been great. Um, actually, fun fact, this engine below us was replaced two weeks ago. Let's look at it. Look. Do, 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 do. She's fresh. Brand spanking new. Brand new. 200 horsepower. 200 horsepower. It's probably, probably overkill, but hey, why not? Yeah, perfect. So uh, great access to the engine room on these boats. You can get around it. You can also get to the engine through the sugar scoop in the back. Uh, we'll show you guys that later. Uh, and my favorite thing about these kind of boats, shaft drive out the back with it. So it's a shaft drive, which is great. But if you need to work on the engine, you're working in air con. When you're in the tropics, you're not out in the baking sun working on the engine. You're nicely inside the air conditioned cabin, inside the boat. Makes a huge difference when you're working on the engines. I, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. 100%. That's so much better than being in the back. Way better than being yeah, in the back dude. of the sugar scoop. Yeah. So funny. Cool. Uh, lots of storage, guys, under the beds here. Everywhere. Two drawers, tons of storage on this boat. Yep. And then what what uh, we did, which can be changed, we we just put a little shelving in, in this shower just for even more storage because we didn't need five showers, right? Yeah. Uh, but this can easily be removed and it can be a shower again. Perfect. All right. Tons of storage all over the boat. Storage everywhere. You got storage here, storage under every bed. This thing's a storage machine. Let's check out the, what do you call we, this? We call this the Hobbit room. Yeah, the Hobbit hole. The, the Hobbit hole, there the we Hobbit go. Hole. Let's go. Here we go, bro. Get in there. So this was my kid's room for a while and they loved it. Cause look, look at this. Cozy. Comfy. So cozy, so, so comfy. Um, we kind of added some wallpaper just to make it feel a, a, a little different. Uh, give it a little bit of a vibe. Fans. Did you put it I put fans, fans everywhere. Amazing. Everywhere. All new fans throughout the whole boat. What are these? Like Sirocco? Yep. Yeah. Sirocco. Amazing. Top of the line fans throughout the whole boat. And then we redid all the upholstery everywhere. But fun fact, the original headliner was a, a mustard yellow ultra suede. And I kept it in one area. Okay. Just for like, uh, you know, this this moment, right? Yeah. Or for anybody who has the boat, it's like, what did it used to look like, bro? Look at that. It's in there. Uh, there we go. It was a mustard yellow ultra suede, and I I had to leave one. I said yeah. let's let's just leave one there. So if anybody asked what it looked like before, it's like that's what it was. But yeah, it's a great bedroom. Tons of storage here too. Yep. Drawers. I mean, you got storage all over the place. And storage, storage here. under here too. Storage under the bed. Yeah. Yeah. Storage in here. And then the bathroom is like a like a half bathroom type deal. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we did some really cool stuff down here. So uh, this used to be a small little closet with a freezer in there. Uh, we gutted it and we put a full washer and dryer. The combos don't really do that well, so we decided to just try and get the biggest washer and dryer that we could in this area. And my wife, she loves this. Like this, this has been uh, probably about six months with this, and she says it's the best thing ever. So we can do full laundry here on the boat. Come on down. Here we go. 
All right, so this is a mimic of the other master. Uh, literally the same exact thing. We, we, we can call it master, master bedroom number two. We did a little bit of wallpaper on the wall and added a mirror just to kind of make it feel a little different. Another engine underneath. And if you, uh, you know, go over here, this shower actually doesn't have the shelving like in my other one. Um, so that's essentially what you could do on the other side if you needed more showers. Uh, let's check out really quick. This engine only has 700, 700 hours on it. Uh, almost new as well. Let's have a look at it. There we go. Amazing. Cool beans. All right. Shower here, again, exactly the same as the other side. Uh, washroom on this side, or head, if you will, and shower on this side. Let's look really quick in the bilge. Let's just have a quick look at the bilge, guys. Bilges are super clean on the boat. Tons of storage in the bilges as well. Like, look at how deep that bilge is insane. Uh, the hoses are super clean, too. You replace that hose, hey? Yes. Yeah. So, so what, that's a them as they, yeah. black water hose. Yeah, yeah. sanitation hose. I, I mean, everything's upgraded on this boat. It's amazing. Uh, what is that? A, a uh, This is our backup fire? AC. Okay. Uh, because back in the day before the ACs worked, this is what was cooling down this. So we decided to keep it just in case we had any issues. But our new AC system, which you'll see later, is pretty amazing. Yeah. Cool. So here we have uh, another cabin, uh, the forward cabin on the port side. Um, it's identical to the one on the starboard side, except there's no desk here. So where the, the desk would be, now we have a city. And then um, if you come through here, we have uh, access to the, uh, I, guess, I guess they call it the captain's peak, which I actually also use for uh, for storage for all my tools. So I'll back in here and, and then you can come check it out. There's, it's like a little workshop. I want to show something else really quick. This, you talked about these before, Carlos. Blackout, blackout blinds. Amazing. Every single window on the boat's got them. Blackout blinds. Super nice to have. Uh, storage, again, storage everywhere. Storage here, underneath the beds, uh, and then also storage here, underneath, like if you just lift the bed up, there's storage under here. These are the air handlers, right? Yeah, all yeah. new. So every room has all new air handlers, uh, and, and we upsized everything. So we, it took a minute to get them to all fit, but these rooms get cool really, really fast. Yeah, cool. Shower number 27 is over here. Don't mind all that, uh, you know. We got a lot of showers here on on SV Alexa. So, um, well, super clean. We got our charge controllers for the solar, brand new uh, uh, charger inverter. Um, everything's super clean. This actually is really cool. Keith's boat doesn't have this, but this is a fuel transfer, so yeah. you can send it back. And actually, no, he 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 has it now. I think he he didn't have it, but since he put that system in, now he has it. But I didn't think it was going to be useful until we filled up one day. And I couldn't get to the other side because the because the the, uh, the hose was too short. Yeah. I flipped this thing on and we just filled from one side. It took a little bit longer, but how else you know how else would you do it? Yeah. Um, so yeah, this was all done. All Victron Energy. All Victron, yeah. And once again, the Victron Energy top of the line electronic stuff on the boat. Everything on here is top of the line, top of the line. All right, guys, we are going to go down into the sugar scoops. I want to show you a couple of new things that Carlos has put on there that are awesome. So let's go down. Come with me. We'll check it out. Coming down the ladder. Uh, amazing on these boats. Hope There's a lot of uh, engine noise going on. Our air cons. The air cons are on. Uh, so hopefully you can still hear me. But massive room down here. Basically workshop either side of the boat where all the technical gear is, the generators, the water maker. Uh, you've got the chiller units all in these holds. Really easy to work on. You've got one generator right here. We've got another generator on the other side of the boat. Uh, each, I believe, are 17, 17 kW generators, one on either side of the boat. Like just massively, everything on this boat is just overdone, uh, redundancy to keep you safe while you head out. Uh, why don't I bring you down here? You can come with me and we'll go check out some stuff. Here we go. Like I said, generator, we had this way. Brand new water maker. This is what Carlos was talking about earlier. Uh, something like 1,700 gallons a day are insane. And here we go on the left, uh, two brand new, these are two brand new chiller units on the boat as well. So this is what, this is basically the air con. Uh, it also works as a heater if you wanted it to, but predominantly use it as an air con. These two chiller units take care of the whole boat. And uh, then the they pump the, the, the cold air into the boat. And those are then handled by the air handlers in each cabin. So each cabin each room on the boat has its own air handlers. 
so that you can control whatever temperature you want in each cabin on the boat. Super slick and awesome setup. All right, let's go back up the ladder. You can see some tools here. One other thing I want to show you, you can access, so you can get through here to access the engine. So you can access the engine from the cabin, uh, from the cabins in the back of the boat. Well, like I said, you can work on it where it's air conned and nice and cool, or you can come in here to get to the back of the engine. Uh, these engines are shaft drives, uh, and uh, that's really nice. Let's go on this side now. In we go. Uh, you got another generator here. Here's your hot water tank for hot water, nice and hot. It's all ready to go for the boat. Uh, a bunch of plumbing in here. There's a vice in the back here. You can't see it, which is that's okay. So a bit of a workshop area back here to be able to work on stuff. Uh, there's your vice, easy access to the steering in the back of the boat here. And once again, on this side, size the brand new engine, you can get into the engine compartment this way as well. But once again, we showed you the hatch inside the boat to get in that way if you want to. A uh, lot, lot easier to access it from the main cabin than it is from back here. All right, I think that's uh, about it. Oh, one more thing I want to show. We're going to run up to the flybridge. Uh, so guys, here we are on the flybridge. Uh, Carlos already showed you. Here's the one helm station over here. There's another helm station there. All lines come aft. So the mast is there. You've got a bunch of lines on the mast. Uh, not all of them. The main control lines come aft. They come aft here for you to be able to control the head sail. Uh, if you want to drive the main sail of the boat, you're driving that right now from the mast. That could easily be re-rigged and have all the lines come aft if you wanted to drive the boat from these two winches. Uh, but at the moment, you run the head sails from here on the furlers. Uh, those lines all come in here. The main sail is controlled at the mast. Easy to change that over if you wanted to. It's a few blocks that you need to throw in, reroute some lines up here, and then you could control the whole boat from up here. That's about it, guys. Uh, you got a life raft over here on the boat. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Amazing. All right. So here we are on the uh, front of the boat. Uh, we really love this spot, uh, especially just to sit and hang. These things are super comfortable. Actually, Keith was jealous when he came and saw this. He was like, this is what I want. You come sit here and it's literally, I mean, it's good, right? That's nice. Right? That's really nice. Um, and uh, just a little, uh, little update that we did here. We got all new chain and then a brand new ultra anchor. And apparently those are the best things ever. I've used them, you know, a handful of times, but you set it and you forget it. It's yeah. like it resets itself and, you know, Keith's been using it all around the world. So I kind of just went off him. I was like, that's the one I'm getting. Um, the rigging on here is brand new. Uh, we had to, to uh, unstep the mast. We painted the boom, painted the mast, and we did a brand new rigging, everything. Uh, all the diamonds, I mean, you name it. All these, I'm not sure what the ones that go in there are called, but we redid everything. Or stays. Yeah, stays. Yeah. Right, right. So all the stays we did too. Um, did the seagull striker too? No, this was good. This, this, is that what that's called? The seagull striker? Well, that, that's the seagull striker, but yeah. Oh, no, no. Those were those were solid. But when we redid the rigging, we, like all the shackles, I mean, everything was new. Like every every, every piece. Um, and we, we redid all the running rigging too about a year and a half, two years ago. Okay. So uh, I mean, she's, she's ready to roll. Like she's she's ready to go. I mean, it was anything else. Um, all the sails are original, but they do have a lot of life left in them. Um, she was a charter boat at one point, and they don't really sail those. It was more about just motoring around. So uh, we figured that we would just, you know, use these sails until they had no more uh, life in them. Um, so you had a bowsprit on the front. Mm -hmm. So what do you got for the bowsprit? Nothing. Nothing for the bowsprit. No, okay. never, never, uh, never used it. I spoke to Keith about it, and he said. Make sure that you can, you know, feel comfortable with all the main sails before you start getting a light wind sail. And I said, okay. So I, I never, never got into that. But the bowsprit is there. It's ready to go. That was repainted. Everything. It's it's set. It's ready to go to throw a light wind sail on. Oh, easy, Jason, easy, easy, easy. Yeah. Honestly, I have no idea how to even do that. To okay. be honest with you, <laughs> I got to take your course, dude. Yeah. All right, uh, but it's got a mainsail and a jib and then a staysail. We saw at the front. Yes. The curlers. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mainsail, jib, staysail, and the staysail has been great. Uh, I, I, I used, used all three of them a couple of times and it really keeps the boat steady. Um, and yeah, I mean, the, the sails are, they are original, uh, but they do have a lot of life left in them. So I think anybody who comes in here, the boat is ready to go. They can go sailing tomorrow. Last thing, the dinghy. Oh, the dinghy. I mean, she's there. The dinghy's the dinghy. Yeah. 
yeah. it, 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 it works. She's fast. You can tow, uh, you can tube, yeah. you can do whatever you got to do. It's the biggest dinghy that you can fit in this little area. So definitely, you know, if you want something smaller, you can fit there. Bigger. I, I had somebody ask me, hey, can I get a bigger dinghy? I'm like, this is like the max. Yeah. So. Okay. You put the solar on? We, yep. The solar was done about a, about a year ago, a little less. Yeah. Uh, uh, 2250 watts. Yeah. And um, it's uh, bifacial. So if, if it's really sunny, you know, you can get a little bit more. And the batteries, lithium or no, AGMs? No, AGMs. AGM. Yeah. Okay. AGM batteries, uh, tons of storage. Uh, the, there are a ton of, uh, you know, tubes and wraps and all that good, you know, fun stuff, uh, boards and e-boards, everything. That's all staying with the boat. Um, so I think that, that's, that's, it. It. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, she's, like I said, she's, she's, she's turnkey. So um, we, we, we really uh, refitted this boat for us. And as life, you know, changed for us, you know, we're excited to see another family come and, uh, you know, have fun with it. Cool. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. No, for, thank you. Thank you for taking us through the tour of the boat. Uh, thank you guys for watching the tour. Uh, beautiful boat. Thank you. Amazing. Uh, somebody is going to be a lucky new owner. Carlos has spent a ton of time. And, and money. A, and, a, <laughs> and a ton of money. Uh, putting on a whole bunch of new stuff that somebody else is going to get to enjoy. You know, one of these things that just happens. So thanks yeah. again for taking of the time. Of course, man. Bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you.